today's video, we're going to go over how to add Amazon Pay to WooCommerce Store. Similar to PayPal, Amazon Pay just makes it easier for your customers to go through the checkout process as a lot of them already have an Amazon account. On top of that, it supports WooCommerce subscriptions if you're using that plugin. And I'll put also my tutorial for WooCommerce subscriptions, shameless plug, in the cards above. But it supports subscriptions, multi-currency, and um, with that, just like any other payment processor, it charges 2.9%. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, we're gonna jump into it. And if you're new here, make sure to click that like box and subscribe. And all the links in this video can be found in the description box below. Let's jump into it. Okay, so on the WooCommerce dashboard, you can download this plugin. You can get my link in the description box below. It's free. And with that, you know, download the plugin. And we're gonna next step is to install the plugin. So I'm gonna go to my WordPress dashboard and I'm gonna upload this plugin. And I already have downloaded this plugin and I'm gonna upload it. And I'm gonna activate the plugin. And then I'm gonna go to WooCommerce settings and I'm gonna go to payments. Okay, and I'm just gonna scroll down and I can see Amazon Pay. And I'm actually gonna bring this all the way up just uh, just to whatever, organize things. And then with that, um, by default, Amazon Pay is enabled when you activate the plugin. I would recommend testing this out on a staging site or a dev site before you push it live, but that's your choice. And the next step is to create an Amazon Pay or link your Seller Central account with Amazon Pay. So with that, you're gonna need like a business tax ID, your business address, all that fun stuff. So with that, let's go and configure that right now. I'm gonna just put in my location of my business and it's gonna ask you these questions. They're gonna go through a more like thorough workflow where you have to add all that fun stuff like your business address, tax ID number, etc. cetera. Um, I already have a Seller Central account set up and with that, I'm gonna log into mine right now and then we're gonna go through the rest of the tutorial. This plugin has been updated, so you won't or should not have to add like the API keys to the plugin. It should automatically be able to add them at the end of you know the workflow that you go through. So with that, I'm gonna log in to my Seller Central account. And so here is how like the end of like the setup process is. It allows me to add my domain. And this is the site I'm using for this tutorial. But, you know, as my domain, privacy policy, probably could update this permalink, but let's just keep moving. And I can go and click transfer access key. Okay, cool. So my API keys have been transferred. And now if I go back to my WooCommerce settings on this page, I can see that all my API keys have been transferred. And by default, this use sandbox mode is set to yes. So, and I, and I have WooCommerce subscriptions enabled as well. So the subscription support is set to yes as well. So for example, if I open up an incognito window or a different browser, I would highly recommend this. We're gonna go into how to create just a test order. I think a lot of people should do create a sandbox account, create a test order. And I'm gonna go to my shop page. Okay, and I'm gonna go to the subscription product. And if I click sign up now, I see this option on the cart page to log in with Amazon that can be customized by, you know, not showing on the cart page. And it also shows on the checkout page. So with that, if I wanted to go through like a test transaction, just to, you know, see if everything's working, I need to go back to my Amazon, um, pay sell slash seller central, whatever you want to call it account and get a sandbox account. So by default, it's set to the production view, but I'm gonna set this to the sandbox view. Okay, because that's the mode that I'm in right now. Sandbox view, I want to add a sandbox test account so I can easily create a new test account. So I can, you know, pick all these things. Let's say I wanna do like Donald Duck or whatever. So Donald Duck at whatever, just keeping things simple, just adding a random password. Cool. And it's going to give me all these payment methods and these optional, you know, shipping addresses that I can use, you know, during the testing process. And 
when I click create account, I'm going to be able to use this account on the checkout page. So let's go back to this checkout page and I'm actually going to go back to the cart page just for you to see. And this yellow button can be customized by in the plugin settings like gray or white. I think there's a couple others. So just know that and I'm just going to click this right now. And this is important to do this in an incognito window and not in the same browser window. So I'm just going to do what was it Donald Duck? And I'm going to sign in. So it has this. I'm going to continue as Donald Duck and it's going to load, you know, those test shipping addresses and payment methods from my Sandbox account. Here's all like the test accounts that it's assigned me to. Actually makes it a lot easier to do test transactions, but anyways, let's go back. So I'm I might just, you know, let's do this. You know, I want to do whatever, Susie instead of Mary J. And um you know, and so forth. I also can see additional payment methods and cards right here. And here is like the subscription support. So I wanna use this for future purchases as well. And it gives me that option. And that's pretty much it. So I can click sign up now. You know, it's gonna create that order in um, Amazon Pay. Okay, so my order was received and now I'm gonna go to my WooCommerce orders and just look at that order real quick. So I'm gonna go to WooCommerce orders and I can see that Susie Smith placed the order and it's gonna show, you know, the authorization ID right here. If I go back to the, you know, Amazon Pay settings, where's this payments? And I go to down to Amazon Pay, if I go back to the settings and I scroll down to this advanced configurations. So they have this thing for the paste the merchant URL field. So I need to go and take this and I want to add that to, to my Amazon Seller Central account. So I'm going to go back to my Amazon Seller Central account. And the last time we left off, we were in the sandbox view. So make sure to toggle this back to the production view. And from there, click integration, then MWS access key, and then click down here, IPN settings. And you'll be able to add your merchant URL by clicking edit here. And you can click update, sweet. And now if I go back to my um, settings, I can see that you know, you should keep this as default. This means that you're just going to authorize and capture customers when their payment are made, not at a later date. And, um, you know, use the default settings unless you're having an issue. And then in, in terms of the display options, you can play with these if you would like, you know, you can hide the, you know, checkout button on the card page. You can debug, you can, you know, detect the language from someone's browser. If you're using multi-currency, you know, I could change this to like gray, make it large, you know, whatever I want to do, display this as a, you know, banner, or whatever, um, whatever you want to do. And if I go back to my shop, let's just say I want to get the beanie right now and I add this to the cart, you know, I can see that just the Amazon pay logo is showing. You can play around with those settings, but that's essentially it. I would recommend after setting going back to these settings and setting this from you sandbox to no, to go and updating this, to have like a real um, person, maybe a friend, significant other, whatever, grandma, grandpa, whatever, if they use Amazon or whoever, to go and do a test transaction on your shop with like a real Amazon account. Now you could do it with, with your own, but make sure to, you know, try to use an incognito window, even though I don't know if that, if that's, Specifically true, but maybe just try to get a real feedback from a customer to see how their experience was on both the desktop device and mobile device. And with that, that's it for today, guys. If this is, um, if you got value out of this video, make sure you hit the like button, hit that subscribe, and all links in, can be found in the description. And see you next time. And if you want to learn more about other WooCommerce payment methods, check out the links up here or here or somewhere. And yeah, see you guys next time. Peace.